The film's narrative commences in the year 1172, presenting a kingdom to the audience. There were many tribes in this kingdom whose leaders were called Khans. But these leaders don't get along with each other. For this reason, they often have a war between them. We're shown a tribe, its leader goes out to find the wife of his nine-year-old son. His son's name was Temujin after traveling all day Temujin's father goes to his friend. There, Temujin meets a girl who was named Bort. She asked why you'd come here, and he tells that, I've come here to find my wife. Bort says all right, then you should marry me. And after saying this, she goes from there. At night Temujin's dad tells him, I'm looking for a girl for you who is from a well-known tribe. On which he tells his dad that I'll find a girl for me. In the morning, Temujin's dad keeps all the girls from his friend's tribe in front of him. Bort was also there among these girls, and Temujin chooses her. They've been married to each other. But they could live with each other after five years, because it was a custom of their tribe. While going, Temujin gifts a locket to Bort. He tells her that I'll soon return to you, and we'll surely meet. After saying this, he goes with his dad. After reaching a far distant area, they stay at a place and have some rest. They noticed that there was another tribe there. Their leader sends a milk cup for Temujin's dad. That depicts the message that they want to make them friends. That tribe offers them friendship. In exchange for this, Temujin's dad also sends him a milk cup. The companion of Temujin's father, informs him that he must make someone else drink the milk first. But he wants to win the heart of the tribe's leader and drinks all the milk alone. As they move ahead, Temujin's dad falls down from his horse and dies. Here it comes to know that it was a trap from that tribe's leader. He sent the milk that was mixed with poison. After the death of Temujin's dad, following their departure, they leave his lifeless body behind. According to them, if they want to survive, they must be living after being a part of any powerful tribe. After the death of Temujin's dad, his special man takes them to a place. Along with this, he takes control of all the animals. When that special man was going, Temujin's mom tells him. You're not doing well, one day my son will kill you when he'll grow up. He'll take revenge on you, and the man becomes afraid. He thinks probably the boy will kill me after growing up. For this reason, he decides to kill Temujin. But it was a tradition among the people of their tribe. They don't kill women and children. For this reason, the man measures the height of Temujin. He was measuring his height from a wheel. But Temujin was much little from this, and he was freed after being declared a child. The man tells Temujin's mom while going they all surely come to kill Temujin next year. The time goes ahead and winter come. Temujin has no place to hide because the winter have started. He remembers his father telling him that our gods are in the far off mountains. They help us in our difficult times, and Temujin decides to go there. But while going there his feet comes on the frozen water. He falls into the water, and he was about to die while drowning. Meanwhile, a boy comes there and saves him after pulling him out of the water. The boy takes him with him. Temujin thanks him for saving his life. The younger brother of that child was also there. Both of them mix their blood into the milk after cutting their hands. They ask him to take this, and you'll become our brother after this. Temujin takes that milk and now three of them have become brothers. The next morning, the man also comes there while finding him. Who was his dad's companion, his special man. He finds Temujin and he takes him with him. After taking him, he measure his length again, and he was still little. The man decides to make Temujin imprisoned till the time, when he grows up, he puts a wooden noose around his neck and imprisons him. There was a man in this tribe who daily feeds Temujin with food, and puts a bandage on his wounds. Time passes in this way, and the man who imprisoned him, when he measure his height, Temujin was still too small. One day, it was raining heavily, and all the people went into their tents. The man who took care of him, and fed him, takes advantage of this, and frees Temujin. He asks him to run away, and he runs with the heavy noose. He reaches far away while running away. He reaches to that god of the mountain about what his father told him. There he sees a wolf, and his wooden noose automatically breaks. The story moves ahead, and we see Temujin has grown up now. He was still escaping from the people who were his dad's friend's men. They were chasing him since his childhood, and still, they were the enemies of his life. Finally, they catch him, and they imprisoned him in the same way. As he was imprisoned in his childhood with a heavy wooden noose, the height and age of Temujin both have increased. And his death opportunities also, but the man tells him that he'll not kill him at this time. I want you to beg for your life in front of me. He replies to him that I'll die happily, but will never ask for this. Hearing this, the man says all right, I wanted to kill you comfortably. 
Now, I'll torture you to death. Later, Temujin was again tied up. The same man comes to him who used to feed him in his childhood. He was still alive, one day when they were celebrating with that man. Who'd captured Temujin, and he comes to him after being intoxicated. Temujin takes advantage of this and kills him with his neck noose. That man has died, now, he was free, and first of all, he goes to meet his wife Bort. With whom, he got married in his childhood, Bort has also grown up and becomes beautiful as well. After taking Bort with him, he goes to his sister and mother. When Temujin's mother sees that her son is alive, she becomes happy. They were leading a happy life, and suddenly the people from another tribe attack them. Because some time ago, Temujin's father had kidnapped the mother of this tribe's leader. At that time, this leader was too young and now he has grown up. He has vowed that he'll surely take revenge for his mother. For this reason, he kidnaps Temujin's wife and takes her with him. Because Temujin alone wasn't sufficient to fight with them. Because of this, he turns to his brother seeking assistance. Who'd made him drink his blood mixed in the milk in his childhood. He had also become a powerful leader of a tribe. When Temujin tells him about his wife. He tells him that we need one year to fight with that tribe because they're quite powerful, and we've to make our people strong. Similarly, days, months, and a year passed. Temujin attacks that tribe with his brother. They killed everyone, and Temujin finds his wife bored in a tent. Now, she was going to become the mother of the tribe's leader. Despite this, Temujin loves her and hugs her. Whatever he got after killing that tribe, he distributes everything among the people, who were fighting with him. He also gives a share to the families of those, who were killed while fighting with him. Seeing his kindheartedness, the people of his brother's tribesmen also join him. Temujin has made a strong tribe. When his brother sees this, he started to hate Temujin. One day, Temujin's people see his brother's companions, who were stealing their horses. A man attacks them with an arrow. A man was hit by an arrow, and as they go to check, he was no one else but the elder brother of his brother, who has now started hating Temujin, as he learns that Temujin's people have killed his brother. He becomes furious. By making an agreement with all tribes around, he decides to fight a war against Temujin. Temujin knows that he couldn't win the war, so, after sending the women and children aside, he fights a war against them after taking his several companions. And he was defeated on which his brother has imprisoned him. He doesn't kill him because he still considers him his brother. But his brother sells him to the people of a different tribe. They take him with them, and after traveling a lot, he was brought to a large city, and after they brought him, they made him sit somewhere. So anyone could buy him but no one buys him. One day, the king of this kingdom sees him. He buys him, and makes him locked in a cage. That was in the middle of the city. So people could make fun of him and could put their anger on him. He was made a spectacle there. A man used to come to Temujin daily. He was ashamed of his people's behavior. He apologizes to Temujin, and he asked that man to do a task for him. Give the locket to my wife. I promise that I'll not harm your city or anyone from your city. The old man goes in search of his wife. While walking for many days. The old man dies after being fainted because of the hotness of the desert. But luckily that locket was sent to Bort. That Temujin had given her in his childhood. From this, she learns that Temujin is still alive. After knowing this, she reaches that city while finding Temujin. She frees Temujin after bribing a soldier there. He sees that he had a son and a younger daughter. Now, that their family was complete, everyone was happy. One day, Temujin's wife tells him that all the leaders are similar. They kill each other, and Temujin thinks this a lot, and goes after leaving his family. He decides that he'll make a Mongol kingdom while uniting everyone. He has decided and has to unite all the kingdoms at any cost. He has made three rules, the first was not to kill children and women. The second rule was to fight with the enemy till the last breath. The last was that no one will deceive his leader. In 1196, we're shown that Temujin has done whatever he thought. He has made his army. There was only one hindrance to becoming his king. That was his brother who too has a big army. Both come to fight with their armies. Temujin doesn't want to fight with his brother. But his brother attacks him suddenly. A huge war breaks out but Temujin won that war. He has imprisoned his brother's companions. He doesn't kill them but also joins them in his army. Now, it has become a great army. Temujin goes to his brother and tells him that we'll not get anything after the fight. We'll be killed while making our kingdoms bigger. His brother tells him if I were you I would have killed that captured army. Temujin and his thinking was quite different. He has lost everything because of his thinking. Whereas Temujin has got everything because of his thinking. 
Later, Temujin forgives his brother and leaves him. Later, we're shown the scene of 1206. He has become the king of his kingdom, Mongol. He had been known as Genghis Khan up until now. He fights many wars against all the oppressing kingdoms. The world knows him for his bravery and mighty. The story of Temujin's bravery ends here.